Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome to Halloween Horror 3, proudly presented by 3X Wrestling. I'm Midnight Guthrie with my color commentary partner, Chad Mylan. It's October 16, 2009, here live at the Des Moines Social Club. And we open things up with a first for 3X Wrestling, a battle royal to open the show to determine the challenger to Jeremy Wyatt's heavyweight title in the main event. We can certainly rest assured that Jeremy Wyatt's got his eye on this match as the winner of this, of course, will be facing him for the 3XW Heavyweight Championship. It literally could be anybody. I mean, absolutely. I mean, there's a whole slew of competitors. There's former three-time champion Delicious Devin Carter right there. Uh, some of the names I do know that aren't in this matchup are Pure Wrestling Champion Craig Kieseman and current Tag Team Champions the High Flyers. But uh, other than that, it's fair game as far as I know. Uh, as Mark Sterling, a vicious technician, makes his way to the ring. And, I mean, it's anybody's game. I mean, there's a lot of really, really reputable competitors in this matchup. Tyler Cook, who has a long history with Jeremy Wyatt, could very well be the uh, next contender to the heavyweight title. There's Ski Mask Malloy making his 3XW debut. Watch out for this guy, folks, from deep within the Missouri Ozarks, a dangerous competitor from the uh, rumors I've heard about him. Another newcomer making his way to the ring, Sparrow, coming to us from, uh, he wrestles primarily in southwestern Iowa. I know he's from Arizona originally. Uh, a good competitor, good high flyer, and Casanova lost the heavyweight title in um, July to Delicious Devin Carter in that brutal dog collar chain match. Devin Carter lost it the very next month to Jeremy Wyatt. There we have Sexy and Smooth, a vicious Canadian tag team. Yeah. Ricky Kwong, who his actions last month were something special. What he did to Aaron Masterson, that was ridiculous. Uh, Turning on him at the end of the match. That was more of a wake-up call to Aaron. Let's just put it at that. A lot of these guys have got matches even later on tonight, too. So. Oh, absolutely. I mean, and there's really? Tony Slyes in the ring as well, Brady Desire. Look at the talent that's been amassed here. You don't see talent like this in one ring at one time in the Midwest too often here, folks. And there, here we go. The fight begins. Casanova taking his time to get in the ring. Here comes in the back where Roy Fox is charging the ring. He's also entering the fray. No one's been eliminated yet, so by 3XW rules, he can still enter the Battle Royal. Is that, look at, I mean, Roy Fox and Tony Sly, they battled last month, a triple threat match that saw Roy Fox beat Sly and delicious Devin Carter, pinning Carter. What a debut, the best debut we've probably ever seen in 3X Wrestling to defeat a former three-time champion like Carter. Well, you got that right. Pin. I mean, have you been anywhere near Tony Sly lately? He's very, very upset about that. Certainly wanted to get his hands on a guy like Rory Fox. Our first elimination, Ski Mask Malloy has been eliminated with Brady A. Desire. To go back to competing in Tijuana with Nacho O'Reilly, and Aaron Masterson has been eliminated by Ricky Kwong. No love lost between those two. They're set to battle later tonight as well. Oh, look at this. Masterson pulling on Kwong's arm. Oh my God, Aaron Masterson. Winless in 2009 has eliminated Ricky Kwong from the match. Well, I don't know if you've noticed this, but over there in the corner, Tyler Cook and Devin Carter were kind of going at it. I, you know, typically really? I thought those guys were friends. Well, they have been in the past. They've teamed together on a couple of occasions. Um, very, very odd to see them going at each other. Not odd to see Matt McDowell and Mark Sterling go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, though. Long history between those two with Sterling defeating McDowell back in January 2008 for the Pure Wrestling title. Rory Fox, a, a very talented uh, athlete, a tenure veteran of the sport, has toured all over the world. Tyler Cook, a former three-time pure wrestling champion, whips, well he tried to whip Devin Carter into Brady a Desire, the savvy veteran Desire. Got out of the way that one, but it, he might not get it out of the way of the elimination here. As you see Casanova in your far right corner, kneeling down. That's my pick to win it all. Casanova. Casanova, look at that. That man's a, a genius sitting there in the corner, just biding his time. Might be a smart choice, Chad, as Casanova is the most recognized champion in the history of 3X Wrestling, and by that I mean he's held titles longer than any other man combined. Did you see that? There had to have been five, six people trying to eliminate Mad Dog McDowell. Yeah, Mad Dog McDowell, one of the best Battle Royal athletes we've ever had in 3X Wrestling. He has won two of them in the past, including a what we thought was a $5,000 Battle Royal. It turns out he won $5 due to an accounting error. As Sparrow just gets tossed. Oh, he comes back inside. Nice resiliency by that young man. As you see, the uh, no love loss there, that vicious feud that culminated in July of 2009 with the dog collar match between Devin Carter and Casanova as they went at it in the corner. 
Devin Carter, the most recent battle royal. Oh, and Sparrow gets eliminated by Brady and Desire. That's two eliminations for Desire, who gets eliminated right away by Mad Dog McDowell. And look at Tony Sly over there in the corner. That's why Tony Sly was my pick to win this match. He's clearly been done. Throwing misses Devin Carter, and he throws himself out of the ring. Unbelievable. Well, see, that's why I was so glad I picked Devin Carter to win this battle royal. You've now picked three people to win the battle royal. You, I have not. And Casanova, there we go. Ryan Slade's been eliminated by Rory Fox. Casanova, the most recent mem person to join the Gentlemen's Club. Uh, looked like maybe him and Sterling almost had a miscommunication source. And S AJ Smooth gets eliminated by Tyler Cook. As we're really uh, narrowing down the field here, folks. Well, it's going pretty fast right now. And there's my pick to win, Mad Dog McDowell there, just trying to catch oh, his come breath. on, Chad. You what? Casanova first. As you see, Devin Carter measuring up Casanova, oddly teaming with Rory Fox. I mean, they both have similar philosophies in the ring, both fan favorites. Uh, but we should note that Devin Carter, the only man to ever enter number one in the gauntlet for the gold and make his way all the way through to win the match. Our Whoa. most recent one in May of 09. What a, what Look a at that. by Tyler Cook. Unbelievable. That goes beyond skin in the cap there, folks, as he was hanging on those ropes for a good 20 seconds. What power the brick pulls full body weight back up into the ring oh, like yeah. that. And he gets dumped by delicious Devin Carter. Unbelievable. See, that's why I told you I Carter's was not expecting win. that. I mean, Devin Carter doing whatever it takes to win here, even eliminating friends from the match as we're down to, now we're down to Rory Fox, Casanova, and Devin Carter. What a story it would be if Rory Fox, and only his second event ever here in 3X Wrestling, Goes on to face Jeremy White for the heavyweight title. Beautiful that, back suplex. That would certainly and be the crowd is going wild for Rory Fox. A very impressive one-two punch for the debut of Rory Fox. Devin Carter, as we said, I mean, he went over 35 minutes to win the most recent gauntlet for the gold. He went on to win the heavyweight title. Now, you can't say that this is very fair. I mean, this is a two-on-one situation. I mean, yeah, I picked Rory Fox to win and all, oh, but still. You picked every I, man that's left. Carter charges, charges oh. in the corner, oh, up and over, and now look at this, Casanova thought he got rid of him, absolutely not, Roy Fox is just catching his breath, can't blame him there, as Carter and Nova are fighting, look at this, well, looks like they're going to get some teamwork going on here, now, running start, here fair. comes Roy Fox, yes. oh, he nails Devin Carter, yes, oh no, and Devin Carter's been eliminated from this match, we are down to Casanova, Perhaps one of the greatest champions in the history of 3X Wrestling. And Rory Fox, who is still a relative newcomer to 3XW, but quite accomplished everywhere else he's wrestled. I told you Casanova was going to win. Did. What a drop kick by Rory Fox. Unbelievable. Uh. The crowd is fired up. They are solidly behind Rory Fox here. Well, to see, that's why he was my pick to win this entire thing. I know it. unless Casanova wins, then I'm out 20 bucks. But hey. Yeah, everybody? Here comes Casanova, up and over. Yes! Casanova's going to win it. Rory Fox! Yes! Rory Fox is going to our main event to battle Jeremy Wyatt for the heavyweight title and only his second event here ever in 3X Wrestling. I got to go collect some money. I'll be right back. What an unbelievable turn of events here, folks. This is why 3X Wrestling is the exciting action you want to see every month. And there's Jeremy Wyatt. Oh, no. Jeremy Wyatt, our champion, Pounding away now on his new challenger. Irish Whip, what is this? Come on. Oh, in typical Jeremy Wyatt fashion, sneaking up behind his opponent and laying waste. Oh, he's choking the life out of the man. The crowd has been stunned silent here at this turn of events. It's Jeremy Wyatt. It's just pounding the hell out of his new challenger. Vicious net breaker. Well, later on tonight, we're scheduled to have Rory Fox battle Jeremy White in our main event now for the heavyweight title. What a match that should be. All right, I'm back. What did I miss? Well, you miss, what do you mean, what did he miss? Jeremy White just destroyed Rory Fox for no reason. Just snuck up on the man. Maybe he was Had just, no chance. Maybe he was just congratulating him on his victory. No. Should be a heck of a match later tonight, folks, in our main event.